Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's up, guys? It's, uh, what is it? It's Monday, late Monday. Game just finished. Nuggets got that, that booty beat. It was uh, unbelievable. Lost a couple plays, but uh, we ended up in the green. A uh, couple live bets I threw in the community. Hope you guys got them. Definitely helped get in the green. Uh, I'm going to jump right into this. And uh, we got Cleveland and Boston, 7 o'clock game, game one. Uh, going with Tatum. Now, this is the first quarter prop, so I do half units. Uh, if you got a large unit, I'll do even less than a half. I don't know something about it. I just, I was going to play his rebounds. It's not like nine and a half. He's probably going to go over it. But I have a feeling they're going to blow him out. And these guys might not even be playing the fourth quarter. So uh, it's over two and a half first quarter rebounds. Last game he got three. He's been, he's been yo-yoing it. Two, three, two, three. So that's to say he might get two tomorrow. But I doubt that. They're going to try to try to put these guys out real quick. And uh, he's just a good rebound that a ball sends to find them. So a little sprinkle, nothing crazy. Um, a little plus money, plus 105 on DraftKings. All right, so I got Tatum first quarter over two and a half rebounds. My next play is a Tatum play too. I'm going to jump right into it. Over a half a block, so he's got to get one block, minus 112 on DraftKings right now. Uh, six out of ten, he's got six of them out of the last ten games. Head to head, the rest of the Cavs, he was almost 70%. I could see a block happening. Second round of defense, uh, second round of the playoffs. Definitely playing defense. I liked it. I liked it. So we're going Tatum with one block and uh, over two and a half first quarter rebounds. All right, all right. Play number three. I'm going with Peyton, Peyton Pritchard. Uh, minus 128, DraftKings. Over two and a half rebounds. Full game rebounds. Uh, 7 out of 10, he's gone over this. Averaging uh, like 3.5, 4. He uh, comes off the bench. Been averaging 25 minutes. He's getting 6.5 rebound chances. Um, he's a short little guy. He's not that short, but he's short compared to players. And... Um, he doesn't really, you know, he slips through the box out and he's able to grab him. He grabs a couple of game. Uh, head to head, this stuck out to me. He's got 100% every time he played the Cavs. Last game, 5, 3, 3, and 4. And that's with only playing 12 minutes, 14 minutes, 11 minutes. So he's coming out there. He always comes out there with a lot of energy. Pops up some threes. Um. Uh, yeah, so uh, definitely stuck out to me. I watched him last game against the Heat, and uh, he was rebounding real well. You know, nothing crazy, but going over three. I'll take my chance. It's first game of the series. It's a feeling out game for me as well, you know, trying to figure it out. So I got Pritchard over two and a half rebounds. For the 9:30 game, Dallas versus OKC, Game One, I got Kyrie under five and a half first quarter points, minus 113 on DraftKings. Uh, Fanduel, sorry. 
gone under this eight out of ten times. Last five games, he's gone under it. Uh, last six games, rather. Played him last game versus uh, Clippers. Cashed it. I right, continue going. Just remember, first quarter props, uh, half a unit. Uh, Kyrie usually comes out hot, scoring. Uh, not Kyrie, I'm sorry. Luka usually comes out, scoring mostly in the first quarter. I mean, Kyrie might get a couple shots. If he hits them, he goes over, but he hasn't been. So I'm going to continue to play it until it doesn't work. I got Kyrie under five and a half first quarter. Play number five. We're sticking with Kyrie. Rebounds and assists over nine and a half. Played this one a few times as well. Minus 130 on DraftKings. Uh, it's 140 now. Line shop, like I always say. He's gone over this the last four games. Almost went over it the last six games. Definitely grabs rebounds, gets a couple assists. Head to head, he's gone over this 100%. Way over it. He's got a 16. Last time they played, uh, March 14th, and then February, he got 14. The uh, OKC's 23rd and rebounds allowed. It's not that good. As well as in that they're. 18th in assists allowed, so that's the middle of the pack, which is not that good as well. Uh, like I said, I've played this before and uh, done pretty well with it, so we're going to give it a try. Then I'm going to jump right into the next one. We've been playing this one as well. It's uh, steals over one and a half. Head to head, he went over this last game. But uh, last five games, he's 80% going over this. I mean, last 10, 70%. He's been averaging two. Playing good defense. You know, he's scrappy. He's out there. We've been cashing it. I'm going to keep running with it. Kyrie steals over one and a half. All right, play number seven. We're going to jump on uh, Derek Lively. Points over seven and a half, minus 135 on DraftKings. Played this last game as well. Uh, it's been pretty high the last four games. He's gone over it. They uh, gets a couple nice lob passes for dunks. Um, Fouls, he's hitting his free throws. His minutes has gone up a little bit. As well as his field goals, he's shooting 73%. So he should hit this no problem. Again, uh, free throws, 52%. So he's going over it. Not by much, but he's going over it. So that's all that matters. Cash the last game. I'm going to continue to ride with it until he shows me otherwise. We got Derek Lively over seven and a half points. All right, before I get into this last play, if you could like the video. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and uh, turn on notifications on. I like to draw plays, uh, live betting right before the games or during the games. You'll get them easy access right to them, and you got to get them out quick. I'm very, you know, I don't want to say very good at it, but I'm pretty good at it. Uh, I've got maybe two or three wrong out of the last week and a half. Uh, that's where I make up my money. If my plays for the day aren't doing well, but even when I'm doing well, I, if I find a good play, I put it out there. So, uh, yeah, so it's like, subscribe, and if you could leave a comment, yeah, that means you, the person watching right here, leave a comment. Help me get this video out there. All right, 
My last play, I'm going with Gafford. Points over eight and a half. Uh, minus, what we got? Minus 125, DraftKings. Live betted his rebounds last game. Uh, I'm going to keep an eye on that, too. If they go down, I'll play him again. Scored 13 points last game. Uh, he's been doing real well. He's a starter. But head-to-head, -head, this is what jumped out at me. The last two games, he scored 19. Um, I'm 21 minutes. Tw averaging 21 minutes. He scored 19 in 25 minutes, 19 in 17 minutes. Like I said, he's a starter. So he could get more minutes than that. But uh yeah, he's been he's been doing really well playing with some power, getting a bunch of dunks. Uh his free throws are eighty nine percent, his field goals are sixty eight percent, shooting eleven of them. So he should be able to go over this. So we got Gafford over eight and a half points. All right, ace money to name, getting paid for the game. Thank <laughs> you.